Welcome to the findaport.com searching facility demonstration. This demonstration has been designed to show you how easy and simple it is to search for ports using findaport.com, whilst showing you some important features available to you. To begin with, I will explain the basic search facility. After having registered and logged on to findaport.com, you will be brought to your own personal dashboard. To get searching, you can either select the Get Searching Now button or select the Search button at the top of the page. You will be brought to the Search page, which is made up of the Search Bar, the Results, Port Summary and Map Boxes. Please note, you can move these boxes as required. If you know the port name that you are searching for, you can enter it into this field here. However, if you are unsure of the port name and prefer to search by country, you can do this like so, and then select Search. As you can see, the Map and Results boxes have changed in accordance with your search. We have 24 pages of ports available for Australia. You can search through these quite simply by using these arrows at the bottom of the screen. As you do so, you will notice that the map changes to reflect the ports that are listed within this results box. So let's start. Firstly, select the port which you require. You can see its exact location within Australia in the map box. Have you been wondering what our symbols mean? To find out, you merely have to select this icon here. The Find a Port legend will pop up, showing you the relative size of the port and also which cargoes it can handle. In this example, we know that it can handle general and dry and oil. Also, you will have noticed that the Port Summary box has also been updated to reflect the information about Broom Australia. In this instance, you can see the max size, fuel, airport and medical information, alongside the exact latitude and longitude of the port. You also have the facility within this area to see any plans that we have on the port. You can see them in greater detail by selecting them. And you can scroll through the plans by selecting Next. You have further options available to you within this Port Summary box. Firstly, you can see precisely what the weather is like in Broome, Australia. You can see our port information by selecting this green icon here. Next to it, this large W sign will take you to the port's website and this star icon with the green plus will add this port to your favourites list. To see your favourites, go back to your dashboard and as you can see, Broom Australia has been added. I will now explain the functionality of the advanced search. Please note the advanced search is only available under the bronze subscription. So let's go back to the search page. You already know this to be the basic search functionality. And to get to the advanced, you have to select advanced here to the right hand side of the search panel. As you can see, the advanced functionality has a lot more options available. You can select by country and port name like the basic, but you also have the ability to search by facilities, be it dry dock, cargo or port. Once you have selected a country, you can also refine the region that you are looking for. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to search for all the ports within Queensland, Australia that had gas cargo facilities. All you'd have to do 
is to select gas within the cargo facilities section. So that we can see all the information more clearly, I'm just going to close these sections down. However, you do not need to do this when conducting a search. So let's search. As you can see, there are three ports with gas cargo facilities. If you believe that this search will be of use to you in future, then you can actually save this search, which will appear automatically on your dashboard. All you have to do is to give it a name within this field here. So for example, Queensland Gas. Now, if we select a port, you can see that automatically the map has been updated to show its exact location and the port summary box has been updated with the basic information. You can see any plans which are available for this port. You can see the current weather conditions, the latitude and longitude. You can also see the detailed port information by selecting this green icon. You can go to the port's website by selecting this icon and you can add this port to your favourites by selecting the star with the green plus. This will automatically be added to your dashboard. If we now go to your dashboard, you can see that both Queensland Gas has been saved as one of your favourite searches along with this particular port. If you go back to the search page, there is another feature which I would like to show you. In the results box, you will notice that next to the port names themselves are these red pins. If you select one, you will notice this section above goes yellow briefly. It has entered the latitude and longitude degrees within these fields. You can now search for any given ports within a particular area. So for example, let's change this to 100 nautical miles and select search. You will now be able to see all the ports within 100 nautical miles of this particular port. So let's select another one. You can see exactly how far away it is from the port on this map and the port summary box is updated with this port's information. Again, you can see any plans available, the latitude and longitude, the weather conditions at that time. You can add this port to your favourites and you can also see the detailed port information. For a detailed description about the detailed port information that we offer, please select the demonstration entitled port details. We hope that this demonstration has shown you how to use the main search functions. If you require more information or feel that something has not been covered, please email us on info at finderport.com with your query and we will be happy to answer your questions.